right, just about to head out on a big adventure. It is going to be an epic one, uh, doing a few places on the west end of Lake Erie today. But first of all, I've got to get down there, so I've had to pack for three or four days because I'm gone for that long. Uh, so first stop, I'm going to be heading to Sarnia, then after that, we're going to be heading over to Lake Erie and doing Peely Island and a few other things over the next few days. So I'm going to take you with me. Uh, but before we go, I just want to show you what we've got set up. Uh, the ski, <laughs> all packed up, ready to go. I swear to God, I look like I've packed. <laughs> for a whole bloody month. I got the fish cooler in there in case I decide to go fishing. The fishing rods in there, the fish net, a uh, spare tire for the trailer just in case, uh, some other stuff, a lawn chair, cooler, which has got a few drinks in it already, and extra ropes, tow ropes, anchor and stuff back there. Uh, all my sea stuff and my overnight bag for the hotel. So uh, join me as we hit the road and head down to Sarnia. All right, as you can see, it's absolutely glorious day here as I'm leaving the Fort Erie area and making my way over to the QEW. So the, my route I gotta take is QEW from Fort Erie, um, QEW towards Stony Creek, and then we'll join the 403, 403 to London, and then from London, uh, we join the 401, uh, 401 to the 402, 402 to Sarnia. So uh, hopefully you will get to at least the London part before this weather changes to like thunderstorms. Thirty three degrees. I'm bored. All right, quick pit stop because uh, I don't think there's another service station after this. Uh, crazy busy in there. It's running there very quickly. Tim Hortons, right? I'm like third in line. Didn't move for 10 minutes and they have like 30, 40 orders on the screen for people that have ordered online. So I gave up. Anyway, I went to the gas station there, the SO. And this, this tastes just as good and uh, same price. Actually, it was 149 so it's cheaper. That's a good coffee. Ah, uh, gas station croissant. It's actually quite nice. Custard in it's nice. It's meant to be cream, but it's custard. It's nice. Oh yeah, that's good. There's a sign there on the highway. One of the little jumbotrons. Friday afternoon, plan ahead, severe weather forecasted. All right, I just spoke to Mark. I just gave him a quick call. He's ahead of me. He got better traffic coming down than I did. I got screwed up on the 403. So anyway, he's just getting to the hotel. He says the roads are flooded down there. They just had a massive storm system that just came through. So I just looked on the phone and it's coming our way. I'm literally going to be driving right into it. He says it came down really, really good. The roads are flooded uh, in Sarnia from all the rain. So uh, it should be fun. I should be driving into it probably in about 15, 20 minutes. So to my right, it was pretty much clear. The sun's still out and to your left, pretty much dark. down here in Sarnia, the big black cloud is just behind me. Uh, Mark's not wrong, I see flooded roads. <laughs> Check this puddle out as I go past it. <laughs> oh my God, even the water in front's really bad. Is this it? No, keep going a bit further. This one. Oh! I can't go out here without you. No, you can't, you just, you just love me too much. All right, just show you around exactly where we are. We're staying at the Days Inn here in Sarnia at the harbour front, um, right by the water. So we're gonna check out the water, the launch area in a minute, see what's around here. Apparently there is nothing around here if you're a tourist. It's, uh, we figured that out. Uh, apart from this really old ship here, which I think is probably, we think it's an old ferry. Things you don't expect to see on a ship. There it goes. <laughs> I think I have the very same door in my house. I don't think that door's seaworthy, do you? The road is still flooded from the, the rain that was over an hour ago. Look at this. Hiya. Uh, for two? Taken care of, have a walk around, keep a clear head for tomorrow morning because we're going to be on the lake all day tomorrow. Oh, so toasted. See, he's, he's two kites to the wind, he's gone. <laughs> two sheets three, to the wind, three, 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 three sheets to the wind, he's three. gone. Come on now, cheers. Good morning from Sarnia. Uh, out on the water, and uh, today's adventure is just going to be 
whatever we find it really is so anyway we got down here last night as you saw on the early clips of the video storming very a lot of rain and so on it was very hot and humid well i can tell you right now it's only 21 degrees and it feels like 21 degrees so it's a lot cooler uh, a lot of black sky that's going east but behind us it's trying to brighten up and it is forecast to be dry and bright later on and hopefully the next hour this cloud will shift uh, so our plan today is um, get out onto the St. Clair River, maybe go up to the bridge first and we're going to make our way all the way down to Lake St. Clair and uh, see what we can see, see what we can find and just have a fantastic good adventure today. Oh, this is, uh, this is Sarnia Bay and look there's Nigel over there and at a point over here you can see some trees. What's in front of me is a blue water bridge which separates Sarnia, Canada with the United States. The 402 just goes right over to the United States. Now this was built over many many years so the first stretch of the bridge, uh, the blue water bridge would be... I think I read west, oh my god there's a lot of current here, holy shit! <laughs> I just stopped for a second I'm flying away. Uh, 1938 uh, which is the original structure which was now which would be the westbound of the uh, bridge and the eastbound uh, was then completed in 1997 uh, so the original bridge i think they got it the wrong way around or maybe i read it the wrong way around because the structure in front of me looks like the newer one and the one behind looks like the older one the blue water bridge 1938 constructed and the second piece was constructed in 1997 and right in front of me is lake huron and mark's already out there There's hell of a current here, just like the Peace Bridge. In fact, if I just stop a minute... You know what? That, that, that feels faster than the Peace Bridge. That's uh, quite a strong current here. Oh, we really be careful here. I might have to put the camera down so I can just uh, steady it on because the waves are going all over the place. Oh, I know. I'm about to put my gator over my hat, make sure it don't blow off. So Lake Huron, right behind you. What is a Huron? Well, the Huron is a lightship. Well, this particular vessel is now a museum. Uh, lightships are basically a floating lighthouse that are anchored in areas where it's too, where it was too deep or expensive or impractical to construct an actual lighthouse. Now, what I'm looking forward for today. Um, it's one of those big, big ships. Uh, on Lake Erie, going up to the Welland Canal, I think the, big, the maximum size is like 720 feet in length. Well, down here on Lake Huron, through St. Clair, uh, into Detroit, there, there's a, few a couple of ships that are over a thousand feet long, and I'm really hoping we'll come across one of them today. What a cool place to live right there. What a view. We just shut our engines off just to see how fast we're going. Uh, seven kilometers an hour, eight kilometers an hour. There's Mark. Just <laughs> no engine on, just floating down St. Clair River towards Lake Sinclair. We have all day, nothing to do. Just watch the clouds go by. I am sailing. I am sailing. I, I won't sing anymore, it's torture. Oh, 
Oh, the first ship I see is a ship I've already seen this year, Harvey Spirit. Besides in Port Colborne, right at the beginning of the season. These waterfront homes are just spectacular, but look at the view! Ta da! That is your view. Uh, refineries, chemical plants, cement plants, the whole lot. It's, uh, that is your view if you have a wonderful lakefront, sorry, riverfront property in the United States looking towards Canada. Kind of looks pretty grim. I recognize that guy. football field, football ground, envious. Now that's a nice lawn. That would have took a long time. That's uh, on a steep hill as well. So that would have took quite a bit of time to do that. All right, something big has just caught my eye. I need to get to the bank very quickly and get the drone up to get you this shot. We have a thousand footer. This is it. This is the Walter J. McCarthy Jr. which is going up river towards Lake Huron up the uh, St. Clair River. This ship is exactly 1,000 feet long uh, which is 304.8 meters so it's 1,000 feet precisely. This thing is a monster. This is the biggest ship I have seen on the Great Lakes to date. I know a few other people out there have seen them many many times before but where I live uh, at the east end of Lake Erie, we just don't see them this big. So this is a spectacular sight for me to see. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> no, wait, what if I see him? <laughs> All right, uh, that didn't work out very well. Uh, anyway, that was the first thousand footer ship we've just seen, but the weight's gonna really push our sea dudes away. Uh, this is the uh, St. Clair power plant on the US side, of course. And the uh, little town we're coming to very shortly is not China, it's uh, East China, it's called East China, not China. This place is called Baby's Port, is our name. Just gonna stop the video right here to show you where we are. So we've come down uh, the St. Clair River. We're now at this point, which is Baby Point. And this piece of land here, Walpole Island, First Nation Reserve. It's inhabited by the Ojibwe, Potawatomi, and Ottawa peoples of the Walpole Island First Nation, who call it Bikejawanong, meaning where the waters divide. So what we're going to do is ride on the east side of the island and come down this uh, estra here. And there's a little uh, point right here is where we decide which way to go, left or right. Then we're going to follow all the way around, all the way down into uh, Lake Sinclair. Uh, that little circle I just drew uh, will be uh, significant very, very shortly. And then we're going to come up the other side on the next river and we'll make our way into Wallisburg. So anyway, I think we're going to go through here, past the marina, it's going to come into a narrow channel. I believe it takes us through the marshes. 
It brings us out at the very bottom, way down there on Lake Sinclair. The waterproof has come off. Uh, now it's just a nice light t-shirt and these sleeves. I can't have my arms exposed. I got a new tattoo, so I can't uh, get my arms exposed to the sun this week or next week. So I've got to keep them covered up. Now, a baby swan, Cigna, is it a Cigna? I have to check, but I think it's a Cigna. All right, we came towards a fork <laughs> in the river. We just came from there. Now we could go that way. That'll take us to Wallisburg. Then this is gonna take us down to Lake Sinclair again. So what we're gonna do is take this down, get onto Lake Sinclair again, then come back the other way uh, towards Wallisburg. Yeah, let's crack on. Love it today. The weather has just turned out perfect. It's, uh, just after nearly 12.30 now, so we've been out for nearly three hours and uh, the weather's holding up really, really nicely. like Sea-Doo of the corn. Look at it. It's everywhere. I'm like riding my Sea-Doo in a cornfield virtually. It's 10 feet deep. And it just goes on for miles, miles and miles. It really is like riding in a cornfield. This truly is a wonderful part of North America. With its lush green vegetation, also there's these islands that just go on for miles and miles. These islands are located in the delta where the St. Clair River flows into Lake St. Clair. Uh, these islands are part of the St. Clair Flats, the only major river delta in the Great Lakes. I just fucked up. I just lost a drone. Uh, never even come close to losing a drone before. And uh, anyway, I was just getting it back, had it over me, went to grab it and to flick it over. And as I went to flick, it accelerated. But at the same time, a fucking gust of wind came 
the next thing I know is um, I got it upside down and it accelerates out of my hand which was bizarre it's never done that usually when you flick it it shuts right off um, but this one just wanted to accelerate and it just literally sits at my fingers bump and then ah oh, the price we have to pay when we're doing this stuff oh well so anyway let's soldier on still got a couple of GoPros and things like that let's carry on <laughs> I lost my drone! I lost my drone! <laughs> never nearly lost it before and the only thing is in my head I keep seeing it playing back into my head like why didn't I grab it quicker well the answer was I had to control it at my phone on my lap so I was afraid of losing my phone because I've already lost my phone in the link once so I just spoke to the wife she's going to get me another drone because I need it for this week I got a job on so I'll need it so I'm angry but I'm not like gutted I'm a little angry because the way it fell in um, but it's one of those things, it's a risk you have to take when you got a drone and you're flying it out on the water. So, just get on with it, I guess. Let's just crack on. I just lost Mark. I don't know where he went. Go that way, you could have gone over there. Alright. Hey, I perceive you went this way. Lake Sinclair. Did he come this way? I have no idea where he went. I may have just lost him. Oh, there he is. Mark, make me feel better. Have you lost a drone? Yes. See, if he's lost one, I can lose one. I feel a bit better now. I, I'm not the only one just lost one, so it's uh, one of those have things. Have you really been Sea-Doo vlogging if you haven't lost a drone? Like, let's be honest. That's true. I lost a phone, but mind you, oh, mind you, no, that was that, I wasn't vlogging at the time. I was a bit drunk and sat in the dock and <laughs> he fell in the water. A bit yeah, different. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yes, I'm in, I'm in the, I've lost the drone club. <laughs> All right, we're on Lake St. Clair. We just had a little stop for five minutes, look at that map. And uh, we're gonna make our way around all these little shallow areas and into an entranceway around this end, which is further to the east. And hopefully it'll bring us up in Wallisburg. That's where we're gonna try and end up anyway. The water's very shallow, so I gotta be careful here. And it's also choppy because the wind's really strong. And at the same time, I try to keep it out of the clouds because a, a water spout forms. So it's, uh, it's all happening. after that absolutely soaking a cute little building look at this hey oh, I think oh, the other camera's put away I guess it's like a better breakfast maybe that's kind of cool if it is yeah well I like that that's nice I might stay in there all right almost we go 
I get out of this wind, I'll get the other camera back out. Right, we just pulled up into this channel. You gotta be careful where you're riding. It's pretty deep, we're at 15 feet, but it's a lot of debris everywhere. And weeds. And uh, giant logs just randomly sticking out. Look, no respect these sea dude guys. You're huge! Jesus, I don't want to fight with that. What? Do not ask me to how to pronounce that. I have no idea. Someone's asked to pronounce it for me, and then I'll be able to say it afterwards. I don't want to get it wrong and be a complete dick. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I got my dog from a lucky labs which i believe i just drove past their property sorry road past their property so as soon as i went past like i recognize that road so uh yeah lucky labs is just down there that's where i got mumford from and uh yeah we're just coming to wallisburg Ooh, i like a bridge Coming up to one right now. This is the uh oh my other camera doesn't want to come up. Maybe the battery's dead. I'll change it in a minute. Anyway, this is the uh, baseline bridge here in Wallisburg. Looks like a control tower for like an airport, really, doesn't it? So uh yeah, seasonal bridge. Um I guess it rotates looking at the base. So much for rotation, spin round, close for lunch between 12 and 1. Okay, uh, too much to read there, I think. So a lot going on. That's quite a haunting image, really. It's kind of weird, creepy. So I'd imagine at some point this was a popular marina. Uh, old derelict now, but there's lots of tie-ups here, so at some point this was a marina. Not anymore. Now, I do like an old bridge. So coming up right now is a really old looking bridge. So it's an old rotating bridge. There's the old road. I like this. So I presume it would have been cheaper to just leave it here unless they think there's still a chance that line could be used at some point in the future but here's the old hut where the uh, person would sit to, nav uh, to control it yeah let's go under the bridge that was once a bridge Just pulled up at this place in Wallisburg, just moored up, get some lunch. What's it called? Glasstown Brewing Company. So we'll nip in there, have a drink, some refreshment, and then we gotta try and find our way back to where we came from, which could be quite a long ride. I think what they did is they kind of would like to get it. 
Yeah. That's like cough syrup. <laughs> Strong. Oof, my lord. That is the stout at Glass Town Brewery. Nothing like a Guinness. Ooh, put hairs on your chest, that one. All right, so this is downtown Wallisburg on a Saturday afternoon. All right, back to the sea do and uh, hit the water, headed back up to Sarnia. Back, I'm down to, oh, it's just gone up. It was three bars, now it's gone back up to four. Uh, Mark's just putting uh, 20 litres of fuel in. I've got 10 in here. I'll probably have to do that before we hit uh, the river again, the main river, because we've got to go against the current now and the wind. And uh, hopefully we'll make it back without having to go to a marina for more fuel. Uh, but the way we worked it out, we should be good. So we'll keep it in eco mode until we need to take it out of eco mode, basically. Anyway, I'm just floating down the river, saving fuel. And that was Wallisburg. Alright, police have a join down here. I wonder if they're gonna pull us over to a quick chat. You never know, right? Good. Uh, 5,000. Game there, slowly but surely. <laughs> A lot of traveling. Cheers, guys. All right, on we go. Yeah. Uh, so, we just found out. We knew it was eight kilometers when you go past all these houses, but we didn't realize it was eight kilometers when you go out because there's no signs anywhere. So anyway, just got a little told just keep it down. So that's all we're doing. No lecture, no time off. Just guys, just slow it down to eight. So there we go. We're back in Sarnia. That was, uh, what time is it? That was nearly a one hour non-stop uh, ride from when we set off just by uh, Baby, uh, Baby, Baby Marina, Baby Harbour, I don't know, whatever it's called. But yeah, it's like a solid ride up here. Uh, good against the current, against the very strong uh, northerly winds. Uh, but we did it. Uh, so we're just back at the marina, we're gonna pack it all up and uh, head off to our next adventure. Just wanna say though, um, Lake uh, St. Clair River is challenging. It's uh, much bigger than the Niagara River. A lot more traffic in the sense of big boats. Uh, the swells go all over the place. And then uh, when you, well, the wakes, I should say, the wake from the big boats, flashes, reverberates, comes back, and so on. So uh, a tough lake, but I tell you what, thoroughly enjoyed this ride. Thoroughly enjoyed it. 
I've gone through probably a whole tank of fuel. I marched over to say my alarm's going off. Since I got two bars left, it keeps fluctuating between one and two. So uh, I'm glad I brought the extra fuel. Anyway, go and uh, moor it up and load it onto the truck. I think I, I think I have a lot of water in the well here. Bug spraying, because we're getting eaten by these big, horrible looking flies. They're like deer flies. Look at this little guy I just rescued from the, uh, the lake. <laughs> Holy shit, I just fell right in. 